Tuesday evening's Marquette Xavier game was a tale of two halves. Xavier was able to turn a three point halftime lead into a 20 point blowout victory. The Musketeers had four players in double figures and they were able to hold the Golden Eagles to a season low 44 points. I give Marquette credit, they were uh, the aggressor. Uh, they really came out in the first four minutes. All we talked about was taking care of the ball uh, coming into the game and that was sort of our undoing the first four minutes. But as time wore on, I thought our guys settled in. You know, we didn't panic. Um, you know, we didn't fracture. You know, we stayed the course and uh, you know, able to take the lead going into half after being down 11. Uh, give our kids credit. Marquette started off the game firing on all cylinders. Coach Rojo's club got up to a 16 to 5 lead by shooting 8 of 13 from the field. However, Xavier closed out the first half on a 23 to 9 run as Marquette's shooting bottomed out. You know, I think my guys are are fighting, and you know, we have to learn to fight better. And uh, as, as I told, the, it's, it's a great opportunity for our young players to be, you know, have a ton of responsibility thrust on them. And uh, you know, that's something that all like young guys say. You know, I, no, I just want, I need to play, I want you out. Okay, you got it, you got it now. What are we gonna, what are we gonna do with it? The second half got even worse for the Golden Eagles as the Musketeers continued their first half run all the way through to the end of the game. Xavier outscored Marquette 49 to 28 after the first seven minutes of the game. Dwayne Wilson led the way for Marquette with 12 points on a rather inefficient four of 12. His freshman counterpart Trayvon Blewett scored a game high 14 points, including two of four from beyond the arc. Xavier's defense is much different than Seton Hall's, much different philosophy. Um, and they have huge guys. I mean, Stanbrook and Reynolds and Farr, and you know, you go and down, those kids are, those are big. Guys, so it's very tough to score around the round, and um, so they're good. I mean, they're they're an NCAA tournament team. Uh, I think they're you know they're as good as most teams we've played this year. Marquette has a Valentine's date Saturday night with the Creighton Blue Jays in Omaha. Both teams will look to climb out of the basement of the Big East. From the Bradley Center, I'm Grant Becker, MUTV Sports.